Holy sh! I'm sorry. I don't know how to describe that, but I got major instant release. There you go. Oh. That was the big one. Here we go. Okay, so we have Jeff here today, and where did you come in from? How far away was that? East Haven, Connecticut, about a two hour drive. Okay, well thank you for making the effort. What did you want to do today? Like, why did you come to me? I know you see a chiropractor close to you, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, but you saw maybe something a little different you wanted to try. Well, tell us about that. Y-strap and the cranial facial balloon release. Okay, yeah. and what's going on that would make you want to do that? So, growing up most of my life, I had uh, epileptic seizures. Mm -hmm. I was cured from that from, I guess you can call it the ring dinger. Like and, a towel type of pull? Yeah, okay. so, and I got a lot of relief off of that, but I never got like a full yank, but I'm not looking for a full yank, uh, mm -hmm. just get some relief. Um, and then also have uh, vertigo, so. Uh, and you still get vertigo? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. When you first had that done, that was a game changer for you, right? I had to basically go home that night and my body went through a huge reset. I mean, I had to sleep for 14 hours. And when I woke up the next day, it was just like heavenly night and day difference. When I had it pulled the first time, the room got went super bright and mm -hmm. all my brain fog just gone. And you haven't had seizures since? I have been uh, seizure free now for a solid year. So you're hoping maybe to do a little bit more of that type of distraction? Mm -hmm of uh because it might help you with some of your other stuff right and you haven't had it done since right also talk a little bit about what you're hoping to do with the cranial facial release were you thinking how it might be related to vertigo or? well i definitely yeah i get, get the vertigo but um yeah i do get a, a lot of frontal tension headaches just so i understand you have a headache right now correct and on a scale of one to 10, 10 being a really bad headache and zero meaning you have zero it, it, headache. No, it's, it, it's tolerable because I have lived with it. But give me a number. Time. Yeah, um, probably like a three. Okay, yeah. but you feel it. Yeah. Okay, and you get these all the time? Uh, pr uh, yeah, I would just say, yeah, okay. it's, it's not fun, it's, it's, it's torture. You have a very interesting history when you, mm -hmm. were, you were born with missing a little piece of your second cervical bone. Yep, the dens. That's called the dens. Yep. Dens means tooth-like. Mm -hmm. So the second bone in the neck has a little pivot and it's the dentoid process or this little little pivot and that's why the first two bones do most of your neck rotation yep. left and right. Yeah. How did they build that bone up? So there's no metal in my body, thankfully. They took bone from my right hip and, and they turned it to mush and they fused C2-1 to the base of the occiput. Wow, that's amazing. So. You were born that way, but they didn't do the surgery until you were about nine years old? Correct, because they couldn't figure out why I was like, when I, whenever I walked, I would constantly walk with a stiff neck and I would turn my whole body to like compensate. Right, as a yeah. little kid. So he couldn't get that pivot in his head. Right. He's got a wicked scar here. So you used to get seizures, at least that's cleaned up, yeah, right? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you also have a rib that's an issue. Yeah, I can, okay. yeah, I can, I can feel it. It's yeah, out. so this rib is out. Ribs are a little tricky the more lateral they are. Mm -hmm. If they're uh, out near the vertebral column, it's so much easier for me to get to. If they're out in the front or around the sternum, they're easy to get to. Uh, lateral, which is uh, like a rib, is like a big bucket hang handle on your um, paint can, mm -hmm. you know, from yeah. Home Depot or something. <laughs> yeah. And so he's really at the apex or the, the midpoint of that ring, that half circle. Mm -hmm. And that's all the way out here on the side. Uh, it's also a very vulnerable, tender area, but yeah. I know how to work on that, so we'll, we'll look at that in a minute. So we're going to work on those different specific things today. We're going to look at cranial facial release, hopefully to help with the tension headache, long-term help with your vertigo. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at your uh, rib that's under his armpit, kind of in this area here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're also going to do, what we're going to have to do is um, something called a modified white strap. Let me explain that a little bit because people watching or if they've seen Dr. Cipriano or some of the other people that yep, do the Weiss trot, um, you see people yank the hell out of someone. And I've done that many times, but when someone's had the type of surgery you have, we're not gonna yank the hell out of your neck. We're gonna use it more as a stretching thing. You know, an interesting thing, and I'm a fan of Dr. Cipriano's and we've texted each other before, we were colleagues. He didn't invent the Weiss trap. The Weiss trap was, has been around way before he was born. It's been around, I think, 75, 80 years. Wow. Uh, it's been around a long time. What Dr. Cipriano 
made was he made it world famous. Mm -hmm. So he took a obscure little known technique and put it on the map worldwide. Mm -hmm. And so he definitely is the white strap doctor because of that, because mm -hmm. it lay dormant for 40, 50 years where very few people had it. Mm -hmm. But the Y strap was originally used for neck stretching. It wasn't used with a thrust on the end of it. When so when it first came out, it was just to give you leverage to create a stretch, some traction, and then you could release. Mm -hmm. And you could do another pull with traction, hold, 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 and release. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do more of that with you. Yeah, and we can do a little impulse with a little but mm -hmm. we're not going to go crazy with the type of right. uh, history of surgery that you have. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I just want everybody to be clear on that. Chiropractic videos on YouTube can be very dramatic, but uh, the main thing is that you're a real person in my office. You're not an actor where we're just staging this whole thing. And my first goal is to do no harm, where I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help you. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you think? Let's get started. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so I'm gonna just do some stuff with his neck before we really do anything more. I'm feeling the neck. I'm under the occiput, feeling the occipital muscles and upper cervical posterior chain of the muscles. Now I'm dropping down. Now you're a massage therapist, right? Correct. You probably like this stuff, right? Oh yeah. So I did go to massage school. I was a massage therapist for eight years. And I even made a living in massage school, because I mean, in coverage school is a four year program or it took me four years to finish. Mm -hmm. So I made a living because I was married with a young family with my massage practice while I was in chiropractic school. Notice how quickly his eyelids are fluttering everyone. Okay, so he's got still a lot of activity and that is still from the days when you used to be a seizure guy, right? Mm -hmm. When you had seizures, how often would you get them? If I missed a uh, dose of medication, uh, instant grand mal. And when was the last time you had a seizure? A couple of years. And I've been off my meds now for like almost a solid year. That's the spot, right? Oh, yeah. Big breath in and blow it out. Let's do the Y strap. I think that's a good idea. Uh, and we're going to, remember, we're, we're going to do one that's a little modified mm -hmm. because of the nature of your surgery. Are you ready to do a little bit? Yeah, yep, just gentle, please. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want a solid, hard yank. No, we're not gonna yank. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna let go again. Big breath in, and blow it out. Let's hear you blow it. I felt a little pulls on that one. Did you feel those, Jeff? Yeah. So this one we're gonna do with a tiny little impulse, okay? Yep. Okay, big breath in, and blow it out through your mouth. Was it too much for you? No. Okay. Did you feel any uh, opening for yourself or it's hard to say? Uh, hard to say. Okay. But it definitely did get a nice stretch. All right, tell us what you're feeling. Everything feels soft. Okay, is that a good, yeah. a good thing or a bad thing? No, a good thing. So maybe we should leave it if you already had some release. Yeah, I feel, yeah, if everything feels soft. Okay, so let's leave it. We probably did more than you thought. Yeah. Yeah, I feel a lot of like uh, blood circulation going over my face right now. Well, I had the towel uh, done for the first time. Um, a couple of years ago. Right? Yeah, and then, yeah, this actually felt way stronger than the towel itself. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> Feels good. All right. Yeah. Whoa. You have a rib on this side, right? Yeah. So let's let your head clear and you can just sit in that position. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get on this rib right now. All right. I'm going to put my head right here, okay? Yep. So this thing, it feels like yeah. it's sticking out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Can I lift through. your shirt for a second? Yeah. So it's right here, right there, correct? Mm hmm. And we're going to. This is actually a rib uh, attachment. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay. It's a little red for me hitting it. That's okay. But now it's smooth. It's back in. Yeah, it feels different. Take a breath in. Oh, yeah. Way different. You ready to do a little more? Yeah. Are you done? No, I'm good. All right, so let's have you lie on your back. I'm going to do a little, little adjustment into your lower neck, away from where a surgery is. Mm -hmm. so these are lower cervicals. There you go. 
Oh my god. How'd that feel? Amazing. I'm gonna do this side too, okay? Yep. So I'm at C7 and T1. That's where I'm setting up. Mm. Yeah, here, I think I got it on that one. Here's another way to get it with the... Oh. Try it now. Yeah, can I sit up on that? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, night and day difference. All right, you have a big spot in your, yeah. your center of your upper back. Yep. So I'm gonna do that next. You're gonna lie on your back, you ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Come back down. So I'm gonna go under here. <gasps> here we go. Oh. <sighs> What'd you experience? What was that like? Oh, that was something I've been wanting to get done for like at least a good solid year. There's more. There's I, yeah. I only got the first set. There's that's another, that's fine. Yeah, keep going. Can we going. do a little more? Yep, keep There's going. There's another grouping just below that. There it goes. And then here's one. Mm. Mm. All right. This is stuck. Mm-hmm. There it oh. goes. You got your hip and your ankle at the yep. same time. Oh. Here's your hip. Good. Come the other side. That was the big one. Oh, that was wow. heavenly. That was really loud too. Did you hear that? <laughs> that was heavenly. Good, you needed that one. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open you up with the CFR, okay? Yep. So here's Floppy, mm -hmm. and we're going to do a little CFR on you now. So we're going to start on the right nostril. Once I have it placed back, you're going to take a big breath in and hold, and it looks like this. <sighs> Try it. Good. So here's the right nostril. I'm going to place it first and Ooh. then whenever you're ready, big breath in and close your lips. Holy shit. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh. Holy cow. I don't know how to describe that, but I got major instant release for the headaches. You mean you don't have the headache now? No, but I feel like the other side needs it, even though it was torture. No, we have to do both sides. Oh. Did you hear cracks? What yeah, you, big you, time. Tell us what it felt like or sounded it like. It felt like um, bubble wrap just like ripping up in my, my oh, it just more release just came out. Did you hear your ears pop too? Yeah, ears. And then, like everything around the brain, just like, just like. All right, so let's do the other side, okay? You're gonna hold on to floppy, and I'm gonna just place this in like this. And whenever you're ready, you're gonna open your mouth and hold your breath, and then close your lips. Good. I can breathe, but I need to blow my nose big time. Good, so we're going to get you up and do that. I'm going to exchange floppy for tissues. So come up and sit up, okay? I'm going to hold you too so you don't get dizzy. Okay. That's a lot for you. Oh. How do you feel overall? Yeah. I think uh, that nose was... Got the most relief out of everything. Was that your favorite part today? Or is it the Y, y, uh, y, we'll call it a Y strap stretch? Probably the nose. It'll, I'll be honest, it was a little scary, but a lot of relief. What feels different? No tension in my headache, for sure. Mm -hmm. How's the breathing? Different. You mean air uh, passageway? Yeah, big time, but I can breathe. Any regrets, or are you feel nope. pretty good on this? No. Nope. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna sleep heavenly tonight, big time. Right, that's a good word, heavenly. All right, so let's finish there. My recommendation is next time you're in New York, get on my schedule mm -hmm. and do another one if you're Ooh, up for so it. Just more, popped even again. It popped just turning. Right? Yep. How's your neck feel? This all opened up in here. What we did today is gonna still be unfolding for the next mm -hmm. 48 to 72 hours. So you're gonna have new discoveries, mm -hmm. okay? And be, be interesting to see how you're doing, okay? Yep. All right, thank you everyone. All right, so I'm going to go under here. There we go. Oh. Oh, wow.